Welcome back to the channel. We have phase four today from Storm Products. It smells like root beer. It's got the R2S Pearl cover stock, along with the Velocity Core found in the original phase, the phase two, the phase three, and now we have phase four. We've got two phase fours, two different layouts. We've got a phase two to compare it to. We also have Zen Ball Good. So let's get started. Phase four, baby. So I was told that the longer you post your shot, the higher chance you have at striking. Also, TV bowling supply. Also, twitch.tv slash vitamin detail. You can ask me any questions you want about bowling balls, bowling, personal questions that I may or may not answer. The link is in the description below. You do get 10% off at their pro shop if you're sub to that, so. Not on YouTube, on Twitch, I'm sorry. Um, YouTube is free, so we can't really give out stuff for free things. I, mean, I guess we could. Hey, we still gotta give away that bowling ball. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't worry guys, we didn't forget. I literally just remembered. So the phase four, like I said, has a pearl cover stock. Should be a nice compliment to your phase twos. Should be a nice compliment to your zens, but that's a little too close in, in gap for a six ball bag. But if you are looking for something just a touch cleaner, this is your ball. That is not the shot. Bro, why can't we just have a flawless shoot where I just ace every single one of them and make balls look amazing? I'll throw one more good one. I'll, I'll move a little further left and try to hit my target because I'm a professional bowler and I'm supposed to do that, right? Wasn't the best shot, but it got the job done. All right, let's go to the second phase four. This guy's got a slightly longer pin. The other one was up here. This one's just a half an inch different. A little longer buffer to lengthen the transition period. Ball should be a little bit longer, a little bit cleaner, and transition a little smoother. It's gonna be really hard to tell. We don't have shot track, we don't have specto. Actually, Mookie Betts saw him at the Players' Championship. He's like, you know, it'd be really cool for your ball reviews. Get specto and show the lines and stuff. Well, I don't hit my target that often, so that would just make me look like a worse bowler. But thanks for the idea, Mookie. He does watch the vlogs and the bar reviews, so we appreciate you, man. Let's do that thingy where we move left and throw it slower and get around it more. Let's see if I can still do that. Oh, versatile bowling ball I like. Now that we kind of have the nuts with the phase four, let's see how phase two compares. My guess, earlier, a little smoother. Also, yes, I do use interchangeable thumbs from Vice. If you guys are interested, contact your local pro shop. Let's go back to the baseline area of where we started. Definitely earlier. I'm not gonna lie, shape is similar as it leaves the pattern. Might be a little rounder just because of the strong recover stop. I would think perfect step down. By no means is the phase two super strong, but definitely a step up from phase four. Uh, let's move left on that. I did get that a little right quick. Yeah, so as we start moving left, it's just gonna get a little lazy. For what we're bowling on right now, I think it's a little too strong. So phase four is looking much better. So let's try the Zen ball. Now my guess is Zen's gonna fit right in between because it's got a pearl cover stock, which will make it a little cleaner than the solid phase two. Strength of cover wise, they're still pretty close, but just because it's a solid versus a pearl does not always mean the solid is gonna be earlier. So just keep that in mind. But it does have a stronger core, so the components are just a little stronger than phase four. That looks insane. I mean, if I was bowling on this right now and I saw that, that's probably what I would be throwing. But since this is the phase four review, we're gonna break the lanes down until it comes to a phase four. Let's move a little further left with the Zen. Like I said, phase four should be perfect right after this. Oh my. You didn't hear that, that was perfect. We all know how good the Zen is. I also get the question, which is better, Zen, phase four, phase two. They're all meant to be thrown at different times, so I really couldn't say. I personally don't have a favorite bowling ball. I try to throw the one that strikes for any given moment. So that's a tip for you guys out there. Don't get too attached to a bowling ball because when you're in a jam, you're more likely to throw your favorite ball and not the correct ball. Try your best to love them all equally. Okay, this is the stronger phase four. We're gonna try to get to where we were with the uh, Zen. Let's see how that looks. Oh. 
So honestly, shape-wise, they're not terribly different, I feel. Zen does feel a little stronger once you pick up a little earlier, so I think Zen would have picked up before that spot. As far as strength in front to back and shape, Phase 4 is kind of close. Like I said, they're a little weaker. Let's just bring our eyes in a little bit, maybe drop the speed. That was a little bit further left in the Zen spot. I'll throw the weaker one. We'll see how much more it shapes when it leaves the end of the pattern, but I can't really see it being a lot. Layout's not that much weaker. That one's definitely longer. It kind of saw that same spot as the stronger phase four, but just got through it a little more, which I think is perfect for the Bolero centers because they hook really early. So that's why I drilled this one the way I did. We're just getting ready for the PBA tour. I'm gonna bring them both with me. I do think this one's gonna outshine the stronger one for sure. All right, what are we doing? We're traveling across the lane. We're playing uh, around the world, but bowling style. Let's get it. We'll try it from five anyways, maybe right at five. Let's just try to get as far left as possible. I hope I don't fall. All right, let's be real though, no one's gonna play there in league. If you play that part of the lane in league, let me know. You're a certified maniac. I'm just kidding, I'm not trying to offend anybody. We'll move a little bit to the left. Oh, sticky, sticky. That's for all my up 10 dumpers out there. Okie dokie, another chunk to the left. Mmm, what do we think? I thought it stretched too far. Do I just hit it harder? Small move, small move. Two and one, more we'll catch. Pro bowling moves, ish. Professional China bowler moves. At any point, Jesse, make the call, make the ball change. We'll go to the different layout. We're throwing the stronger one right now. Oh, help! I mean, uh, I aced it. Don't worry guys, I'll be sharp before the US Open. If my game isn't sharp, at least my mind hopefully will be. All right, another chunk to the left. Weaker? All right, five inch pin, three inch buffer. All right, this is the same spot-ish. Oh, that's a little left. Just gonna move on. Can we just stop and appreciate how beautiful the colors of this ball? Purple, gold, and grayish, slateish, silverish. I don't even know what to call it. Sting on the five, baby. In front of the ball return. I can hit it as hard as I want and it won't overhook, right? I'm gonna ball back up and give it the twirly bird over the cap. Hopefully we don't break the bowling center. It was flush. We can transition off of that, right? 